Hi guys! In this video, we will test and review a new tool that Sunlu recently launched, the filament connector. This tool will allow you to bond filaments together and if you use different colors, you can easily print multicolor models. Do you want to know how this tool works and what you can do with it? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, today we will be testing Sunlu's solution to connect filaments together. With this small tool, you can join filaments from different colors and this way produce multicolor prints. You can also use this to bond filament leftovers so nothing goes to waste. The unit works by heating up the two ends of filament for a certain amount of time. The temperature and time varies according to the type of filament we want to join. You can bond filaments such as PCL, PLA, ABS, PETG, NPA or PC. And only the ones with 1.75 mm in diameter. To hold the two filaments together during the bonding process, we use small PTFE sleeves. Each sleeve can only be used once. And each unit comes with a pack of 200 sleeves. There is the option to get the unit with more additional sleeves. But the sleeves can also be bought separately. When you buy the standard version, you get the tool, the power cable and the bag with 200 sleeves. The unit itself is small. At the front is a small display and at the back is the power input connector. You don't get any power supply, but since it only requires 5 volts and 2 amps, you can get something like a cell phone charger to power it up. At the top is the cover and then a small lid. Under it is where the filament tips are heated up and bond to each other. Next to it is a small slot that is used to insert the filament once bonded with the PTFE sleeve. When closing the top cover, it will cut the sleeve, making it easier to remove it. And these are the sleeves. In this bag, we have 200 of them. They are 26 millimeters long, which is more than enough to hold the two filament ends together. So, let's connect the unit to a phone charger. The small display is touch sensitive. Once turned on, we have the information of which filament type is currently selected, the current temperature and the set temperature. By pressing the side arrow, we can then change the filament type. And by pressing the side arrow again, we can change the set temperature. The operation is simple. We first need to cut the filament tips in a 45 degrees angle. And then we slide them in the sleeve. The 45 degree angle needs to match each other like this. With the set temperature reached, we place the filaments on the heating element and then close the lid. During that time, we need to hold and slightly push the filaments against each other. A counter will start as soon as you close the lid. And when the time is up, the unit will beep. The beep means that we can now take the filament out. All we need to do now is wait for it to cool down and then place it in the cutting slot. Closing the main cover will push the PTFE tube sleeve against a small blade, making a small cut on it. This cut will allow the PTFE tube to be removed easily. And it's done. The process is complete. But although the process is simple and easy to do, it does not mean that the result will be perfect every time. It took a few tries to get the result acceptable. For example, if during the bonding we push the filament too much, the result will be this excessive plastic round that the PTFE sleeve could not contain.
and if pushing slightly, the filament will not bond entirely and would break afterwards. This pushing force must be the right amount for the best results, and this could only be reached through practice. We then joined some PLA filaments from different colors and used our Creality KE to print a vase with that filament mixture. It worked very well almost throughout the entire print. However, on the last color change, the bond was not as perfect as it should be and it got stuck inside the extruder. We had to cancel the print and open the extruder to remove the filament out. This means that the bond must be near perfect if we want to use this on most extruders being used nowadays, with tight filament passageways. So we tried again and joined a few more filaments and printed the same vase model again. This time the vase was printed perfectly and with all the filament changes without any marks or defects on the print. When looking closely, we can see that the color change is not instantaneous. There are at least a couple of layers with color transition. Overall, this unit is great for the guys that want to produce multicolor prints or just want to join every bit of filament leftovers for maximum usage. However, since the filament will be already prepared, it's uncertain on which layer the color transition will occur. For the guys that have Bamboo Lab printers equipped with AMS units or any other printer with such capability, this tool is not necessary since the AMS will do all this automatically. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye!